Guys, we're shooting on the Canon R8 right now, 35 millimeter 1.8. However, I'm talking about the Z6 III today versus the S5 II, the ZV-E1, and of course the Canon. If you're out there looking for one of these cameras, which one is gonna be the best for you, the best for the money that you're gonna spend? If you wanna find out, check this out. We're gonna get straight to the point. Let's go. First thing I'm saying is Z6 III, the Nikon, they're, they're coming hard now, right? They've got, for the price, they've got the top specs, bar none. They got the top specs. I don't care what you say, and the lenses, they're, they're smart, they're getting smart. 50 mil, 1.4, you think they just happened to uh, release that right now? Just out of the blue, like, oh, well, let's just release. No, no, they have this plan, guys. They're coming hard, and that's good because it's going to have to make, uh, you know, even the new Canon R5 II, like, that's, sure, it's going to be a great camera, but it really ain't going to be what the Z6 III does, right? Thousands less, right? Uh, you're talking $1,500 less or whatever? Like, they ain't playing around. So, first of all, I want to get that out of the way. All right, so, what about the Z6 III? Specs-wise, it's wonderful, man. It, it'll do everything you need to do. I'll tell you that right now. However, so will the S5 II. And I got to the point where I was looking at autofocus, right? So the autofocus on the Z6 III is pretty good. But then I was like, I don't know, is this kind of the transitioning was a little, a little wonky. But, you know, coming from Sony... You don't know until you know, right? If I didn't start in Sony, I might not have noticed. So I looked at tutorials and like add plus two to the tracking and uh, there's a minus or plus five for the sensitivity or whatever. And I did that and I was like, okay, that's better. But it's like, I don't want to have to play with the focus. That's, that's so annoying to me. If you're going to pay $2,500 for a camera, Sony, Sony, Canon, I, didn't, I don't have to touch it. So uh, S5, don't have to touch the focus, right? And that's just it. Boom, I, I, I turn it on, I set my settings the way I want it, and it goes, it's Canon R8, it's just going. I didn't have to play with the settings on the autofocus. Nikon should be that way, and it does work out of the box, don't get me wrong, but it's just not, it's not to the level. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I ain't got no uh, sponsors here, so I can just flat out tell you the way I think it is. Uh, is it good? Yeah. Is it fine? Yeah. You, will you have problems with it? Yeah, but it's not, probably not, but it's just not, it's not Sony's, right? If you go through the ZV-E1 to that, you will tell the difference. However, for most people, they probably would never know unless you had the ZV-E1 first, right? I mean, this has amazing autofocus, amazing low light. And the Z6 III is good in, you know, it's, it's fine, low light, dynamic range, whatever. It's, for most people, it's not going to matter so much. The specs are there. So if you want the most camera you can get for the money, it's a great camera. But that, you know, that, that uh, 50 millimeter lens one, their lenses, they're doing good, man. The 1.4 lenses for like 500 bucks, 600 bucks, like those primes, they're, they're coming hard. So, I mean, I, 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 I really just wish I liked the camera more. It just wasn't, for me, and the reason I came to that conclusion was I pitted it against these four cameras here. And for what I use at 4K30, 4K24, it, it's no, what it, I, I'm not shooting 6K be raw, right? And I got 6K open gate on my S5 II. I got 6K open gate on this. It's got a fan. It ain't overheating. That Nikon 6 III was good on overheating. I'll tell you that right now. I never had any problems. The bad thing about the Sony cameras, like you can just play in the menus. You don't have to shoot with it until it gets warm. It gets hot. I don't, I don't like that. You know, it, it, I understand if, you know, if it's a low, like the R8, I'll excuse it on the R8, right? If it gets a little warm, I put a fan on it, that's fine. But if you're paying $2,000 for a camera, $1,500 for a camera, it shouldn't overheat that quick. You know, like the A7C II, I love the camera, but man, it gets hot too quick. I, don't, I, I just, I don't know. I don't like that. But on a, a value camera like the R8, which you can get for less than $1,100, and you can get the Canon with all four lenses, you know, the main primes, the 16, the 35, the 28, and the 50, you can get all that for the price of just the... Nikon Z6 III. So specs wise, let's get that out of the way. For the price you're gonna pay, it's awesome. And I was hoping, I was really hoping that I would be able to replace like two or three cameras out here. Like maybe keep the ZV-E1 and the S5 II uh, and the R8, go bye-bye. But I'm like, man, I already have these in, in kits and all these lenses. And 
it's not any better. Like I, if you're not shooting 6K raw, six, it does have 120 and 60 frames per second, right? But my ZVE-1's got that too. So between the S5 II and this, I, for me, my personal needs, I don't, I don't need it. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I could get that, then get rid of both of these. But honestly, this is where it all hit the fan for me. The operability of it, and maybe it's just because I, I just don't, I'm not 100% as familiar with the Nikons, but uh, after, you know, days and hours with it, I'm like, it's just not, like the S5 II, one thing I love about it is you can just, uh, the autofocus, right, you just tap it, boom. Let's say if you want to focus on something specific, right? The autofocus works good, but you want to focus on something specific. You just tap it, boom, and that comes up. You turn the dial, it makes the um, box bigger, smaller, boom, boom, boom. Anyways, you can you got the dial, boom, you can move it around. It's just instant. It's like boom, boom, boom. It's 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 the transitions flows. Okay. Uh, Nikon, you got to go in the menus, or you got to put it on a function button, and then you got to. I mean, it's just those extra steps, right? And it, for me, it's just like the S5 II. Uh, and you say, well, the Nikon, it, if you're into photography, um, any of these cameras, it really doesn't matter. You're not going to get any much better image quality out of any of them. They're all like 24 megapixels, except the ZV-E1. But the, the R8, S5 II, that's the R6 II sensor in, in here. Picture-wise, it ain't going to make a difference. For, I, I, let's be honest. Right? It's not really not. It's all per, per preference colors and all that. I just like the operability of the S5 II. It just, it seems a little more intuitive the way everything works together uh, in video uh, for me. And, you know, like I said, I got the 6K open gate. So what more do I need than 6K open gate? Or uh, 5.9K, uh, uh, 30 frames per second. I don't need any more than that. So I'm like, what am I getting for paying the extra $1,300 or $1,200? What am I going to get for me? Like if you shoot 120 all day long or you shoot 60 all day long, okay, all right, I, I can see that. But if you don't, honestly, guys, be honest with yourselves. Are you going to need all that? I mean, I love it on paper, but in my hands it was like, mm. and it is a good camera. Don't get me wrong. And I'm, not, I'm not doubting it, but for me it's just not, it's not the one. But I really wished it for me it was the one because I was like, man, those those 1.4 lenses they got, you know, they opened it up to Viltrox and Tamron, and they're getting some really good lenses that you can choose from. They're, they're going to open up, but Canon, no, they're not doing that. You can't get. I got the 50 millimeter. Right, I got the 50 millimeter right here, and that, it's okay, but it, but it's okay. I mean, it works fine. I mean, for most people, but. You know, on this, you, what? like the, the uh, Sony Zeiss 55 1.8, uh, that's a beast of, it's 10 years old, but man, it's a great lens, right? Uh, better than this little guy. I obviously, look at the size, right? But it, it's just, a, it's a good lens. It doesn't make the autofocus noise, and it just, it's got the, the pop, right? But, and this is an okay lens, don't get me wrong, but you can't get another 50 autofocus on the RF, on, on the full frame. If you if you want another selection of 50, you can't get it. If you want one on Z63, you got more options. If you want them on Sony, you got plenty of options. I mean, you got like seven, eight different companies making 50 mils, 50, 56, 55. I mean, all different kinds. So you got variety. So if you're okay with just the basic primes, the R8's fine for you. Uh, the 16, the 28, the 35, the 50, the 85. If that's all you need for primes, you're good. You're good. Uh, zooms under a thousand bucks that are 2.8, can't get them. So that's the thing I got against Canon. Sorry, Canon. This is the way it is. I, 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 I'm, I'm not holding my punches back. It is what it is, man. Open up your system. I'm about ready to sell this just because it frustrates me. They, you know, I understand all that. I ain't getting all that, but this is the way it is. If that's the choice they make, that's the choice they make. But I, at this point, I'd rather have the Z6 II than the Canon R6 Mark II just for that reason. Even if I had to pay more for it, I don't care because I know I'd have, I could be able to save money on the lenses, right? I ain't paying no two thousand dollars for a lens, you know. It might like the R8. Come on, guys, it's like you're gonna pay eleven hundred dollars for the camera and twenty three hundred dollars for a lens. I just whatever, rant over on that. Sony, you know it's got a great system. S5 II, dude. I mean, 
you can get, I got this 85 millimeter, beautiful lens for like $320, dude. And it's like a beautiful shape, $320 for an 85, 1.8. I got my 50 for a couple hundred bucks. Uh, 250, 225, something like that. It's, it's crazy. Like the value on that camera is awesome. The S5 II, right? I got the uh, Sigma 28 to 70. Works wonderful on this beast. So you basically have the 85, the 50. Uh, I got the kit lens and I got my 85. I might get like a, a Sigma, right? Because they have third party. I'll, I'm out. Canon ain't doing that. Anyway, it's saying about Canon. It's about the Z6 III. Anyways, do I recommend it? Well, yeah, if you've got extra money and you don't mind spending all that extra money, bang for a dollar. Um, Specs-wise, for the most specs you can get, it's great. But the most value for your money, S5 II. Canon R8's good too. If those primes are good for you and you don't care to branch out past those, then you're all right. Um, Sony, can't go wrong with Sony. I just don't like it that overheat. But if you need something that doesn't that uh, doesn't overheat, you don't have to worry about it overheating. This uh, this size five is the beast. So like the R8, I mean, you can you can take these, you can put a little fan on it, guys. Like just a little, little just some little fan like this, like this little portable plug-in fan, guys. Right? It's rechargeable. You just plug it in. It's got a remote control. I paid like twenty bucks for it. You can, you can even cheaper. It doesn't matter. I got a cheap one from Walmart for like ten bucks. You just have a little fan blowing on it briskly, and it will shoot. I've done tests on it. 4K60 on R8, nonstop. Same thing with the ZV-E1. Uh, 4K60, nonstop. It will not, will, not, will not even overheat. Won't even show the overheat warnings. If you got the fan blowing on it, you're good to go. That's all it takes. It just needs airflow. So that's the key. If you don't mind doing that, then those are fine. But S5 II is just awesome, dude. You can just go. It'll just go and go, and it has never overheated me on me. Use it for church, uh, hours at a time, three hours, doesn't matter. Just keeps on, just keeps on rolling. Anyway, that's all. That's that rant's done. Nikon Z63, great camera. It's just not for me. The price, uh, the specs, I guess. It's it's a lot of specs for the camera. I just I thought I'd like. I, I bought it for specs. Specs that I'm not going to use. So, if you need 4K60 uncropped, it's good. But you can get that with R8 too, if that's all you need. And uh, bang for a dollar, this is going to be better with R8. But the lens, lenses, that's what you got to look at. Anyways, what are your thoughts on it? Leave, leave the comment below. Uh, let me know if you, you want me to do another video if you have something you want to ask about all these cameras. Uh, it's too much gas for me. I'm like... I'm looking at the, the new Fujifilm XM5 now. I mean, for in 900 bucks with the kit lens. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. That's pushing it. 6K open gate on that little guy. That's awesome. But how's their autofocus? You know. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you. You know, kind of gather the things you need together in your head if you're looking at buying one of these. But trust me, you don't need all of them. Uh, I'm crazy. Uh, I sold uh, one of my cameras off, the FX30, just because it got to the point where I don't need that one anymore. And um, I'm using that to finance my next camera, which was the Z63, but I, it wasn't the one for me. I'm not saying it's bad, it's great. But uh, maybe a year or two down the road, maybe if I can get seven, eight hundred bucks off of it, maybe it'll be worth it for me at that point. But 2,500 bucks for me, it's just, it's not adding anything to my workflow. Spec-wise, it's not doing anything for me that I, I need. It's, it's too much specs, I guess. We're out to that point. All right, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, I'll look at those videos, and I'll see if I can uh, you know, answer your questions or you know, videos you guys might want to see. Have a great day.